Hey guys, so um, I don't know if you guys are going through this, but I have a toddler right now that is teething, and I thought I'd do a toddler teething video and just some ideas that you can do to help um, and some things that might help calm them down because I know teething can be a pain in the butt. Um, right now Connor is going through teething. He is getting his four eye teeth in. All of his other teeth he hasn't really had that big of a deal with. Um, he hasn't been too mad about. He's been a great teether. And then these dang four eye teeth decided to come in all at the same time. And eye teeth are the worst teeth ever. They take the longest. They're just awful. So um, he's had a really rough time and he's just been hurting really bad with these ones. So I just thought I'd do a video to help out if it will. So anyways, I will get started. The first thing that I use um, for teething I think um, is really good to use. I don't like to overuse it because I'm not like a super big medicine person. You know, if he's teething and he's not in pain, I won't use any medicine. The only time I do is if he's really, really in pain and I can just really tell that he is just hurting so bad. Then I use ibuprofen, infant's ibuprofen. So that works really, really good. Um, you use it every like six to eight hours. So I'll use that and if he's still in a ton of pain then I'll um, use this pain reliever, ansacetarin, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it, but <laughs> it's like kind of like a um, Tylenol type thing for infants. So. I intertwine those if he gets in a lot of pain, so I'll give him the ibuprofen, like, and then four hours later I'll give him this, and then four hours later I'll give him ibuprofen. That's if he's, like, really, really in pain, though, because I am not really a super big medicine person unless I have to be. So that's something that works really, really well for him that helps him um, be relieved of pain, and I usually like to do that right before he goes to bed or, like, naps or something just because it will help him sleep a little bit better. Um... Also, I like to use um, teething tablets. It's like a homeopathic type thing. They're just in this little jar, just called teething tablets. And there's like these little tiny white, you know what? I don't have any more in there. These are gone, so I can't show you. But there's like cell salts, if you guys have heard of those, just like little tiny white pills. Um, they dissolve instantly. Connor loves them. I'm not sure if they help or not, but he really likes them and they're homeopathic. So I figure, you know, it's good to try something, so I just give him like three of those um, every time. I'll just give him like three, maybe like two times a day or something. And those seem to help him, you know, so that's good. Um, these things I actually just barely heard about from a few people, and I just barely got these um, like two weeks ago. They're called Camilla um, Teething Relief, and it's also a homeopathic type thing. Um, what it is, is it's just these little capsules, you just break, you break it so it's like one little capsule and then you twist this part off and there's like liquid inside and then you just make sure your child drinks all the liquid and you can give it to him, you know, as much as you need to. It's just this homeopathic stuff. It's not really, you know, it doesn't really do anything like for medicine or anything like that. Like it doesn't have any side effects or anything like that. You can't overdose on it. So just called Camilla Teething Relief and it actually does it works um, it works but it doesn't work for very long you know it takes the pain away just kind of like right away it it like takes it away and, it, and then it just kind of fades out really fast it doesn't last for very long so I usually give him this while I give him the ibuprofen because ibuprofen takes about 15 minutes to kick in so I give him this before the ibuprofen and or the ibuprofen and then this that way he can have this really really fast and then the ibuprofen so anyway but yeah this is a good thing to try if you haven't tried it so that works um and he likes it he actually takes it pretty good so that's nice um some other things that i really like let's see so teethers um he doesn't really take them anymore he took them more when he was a little bit smaller um, but yeah, just like these kind of things that you can just freeze. I put them in the freezer and then this, you can like freeze this and they can chew on it. And he also has a, a blue one, but he was playing with that, but it's just like a little ring. So I'll see if I can show it to you guys. <laughs> Sorry. He was playing with this one just a second ago, but it's just like this, yeah, regular teether. I just put him in the freezer and he likes them. He liked them more when he was smaller. He just kind of puts them in his mouth and sucks on them now and just kind of plays with them. Doesn't really work now, but it did when he was littler. 
Um, another thing that I really, really like that um, was suggested to me was getting a washcloth, just like a regular, make sure it's very clean, <laughs> getting a very clean washcloth, um, getting it wet, completely wet, and then putting it in the freezer and just letting him chew on it. Um, he loved that because it was really soft to chew on, but it was also cold, and that really helped him a lot. Also, I don't have it with me, but those little teether mesh things that you can put um, food in and let them like chew on, if you know, before they're ready to like eat food. If you know what I'm talking about, they're like these little things that you put food in and they can like chew on them and stuff and get the juice out, but they won't like swallow the food. Or, anyways, getting one of those things and putting like ice in it or um, like frozen fruit and stuff like that. He really, really liked that. So that worked really well. Um, also, uh, let's see what else was I gonna say? Like getting a really clean sock and um, putting ice in it and then giving it to him. Uh, he liked that, which is, it's so weird, but it works really well. Um, so yeah, getting a clean sock, putting ice in it and then tying it off at the top and just letting him chew on that. Um, that worked really good for him. Um, what's another thing I can talk to you guys about? Sorry guys, little uh, Aubrey was getting kind of fussy, so we had to pick her up for a second. But um, so another thing um, I did try and I did not like, um, I didn't like Orgel. This Orgel, this is the nighttime formula. There's also a daytime formula. I didn't like Orgel. I was not a fan. Um, and maybe you are. Maybe it works for you, and that's awesome. But Connor hated it. He just didn't. He didn't like it. Um, I tried to give it to him a few different times and he would just choke and gag and like almost like want to make himself throw up. Like he just hated the taste and it numbed his whole mouth and that made me really, really nervous because I heard that they can, you know, choke and choke on their tongue, you know, and stuff like that and gag on their tongue and it's just not really a good thing. So I, I tried it like once or twice and then I just did never use it again because he just hated it. So for me, or gel didn't work, but you know, you could try it. It might work for you. Um, these Orgel teething swabs actually are a pretty good idea. These I didn't mind, but he just I used them when he was older and he didn't like them because I was trying to fight him to open his mouth and when they're older you can't open their mouth and yeah, it just doesn't work. But when they're younger, I didn't try these when he was younger, but I'm gonna try them with Aubrey and see if she maybe likes them. Um, they're just these like little swabs. I'll see if I can open it and show you guys. Um, just, it looks like a Q-tip and you just break off half of it and then you seep the medicine in, I just dropped it. You seep the medicine into the other side and then you just put it on the spot of their teeth that's hurting. And so it's it's like, it doesn't numb their whole mouth, it just numbs that one area. So I'm gonna try those with Aubrey. He was older when I tried it with him and I couldn't get his mouth open. And <laughs> yeah, anyway, it didn't really work too well, but I'll try it with her and see. So those are my tips for teething. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do out there. There's a lot of toys and stuff like that you can get them to chew on. There's also these, I don't have it with me, but I have the, these old toothbrushes. They're called like Zuli. It's from Zuli or something like that, like Zulis or something. Like these old toothbrushes and they're, they have circular um, like gummy things on the top and he would like to just chew on those and gnaw on those. So that works really good. Um, but yeah, teething is just not fun. So hopefully some of this stuff helps. Um, if your toddler is teething, I'm so sorry because I know how that feels, but hopefully this stuff helped and you can use some of the ideas and it will help with your toddler or infant. So anyway, alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, I'll let you see Aubrey real fast. She just got this little hat in the mail today from one of my friends and I love it. Oh, it's kind of crooked little ears at the top of it. So cute. <laughs> so cute. But um, I just love hats on babies. I think they're so cute. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's all I have to say. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Connor, do you see yourself? Yeah, do you see yourself in the mirror? Yeah. Connor, can you say bye-bye? Say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See, talk to you later. Talk to you later. <laughs>